Hello again everyone, Will again here, it is a beautiful morning this morning, the sun is back and the rain has gone, so the plan of action today, we have all the shearling tops there and we're taking five of them for the ram inspection today, so what I'm going to do, get these guys in, pick the five out and then we're heading off to Welsh Pools, so I hope you enjoy it today guys, if you do please give the video a massive like, if you want to see more stuff like this just smash that subscribe button and don't forget videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys. Right guys, so that is all the tops in now. So basically what we're gonna do, get the five out, get them in the trailer, and then we're off to Welsh Ball. So that's the plan, they're looking really well, aren't they? So these are all shearlings, apart from the two with tighter skin, small ones are the lambs for Great Yorkshire Show, and they are three hogs for boxes. So looking really well, look at the skins, looking really well. All right, lad. But yeah, let's crack on with it and get them done. minute they are powerful so we split the five off the rest are remaining here so we're just gonna let these out quick and then head off with those tops down the yard and then we'll be off to Welsh Ball just gonna swap the truck for grandma's car as we need the truck today so that is the plan and we'll get off keep coming keep coming yeah. Right guys, so we're on our way now. We've got Grandad driving today, so on the way to Welshport. It's about an hour and a half journey, isn't it, Grandad? Something like that. Yeah, so it shouldn't be too bad. No traffic so far. It's a lovely day, so we're hoping to get there and get back. So we're back for Carton Palage in a bit. But tops, fingers crossed they all pass. We've been through them with a fine nick comb. In previous years, I've not been so harsh with this year. I've been really harsh because in previous years, I've taken some and then had some rejected. So I've tried to be extra harsh this year. So hopefully that pays off and we come back with five registered tops. But we will see you in a bit, guys, and I'll see you at the market. <laughs> guys so we have arrived at Welsh Pool the tops are all in there they've managed to push the gate which is ideal and open it up but we are actually here before the inspectors because we we're a little bit early had one little problem on the way here as the car's gone into limp mode so we've managed to get it here 30 miles on that so the tops are here we just gotta go and fix the car now so if the plan is granddad's gonna go to the garage oh getting a phone call and I'm going to stay with the top, so that's the plan. And we'll wait for the inspectors to get here, and then we'll get them unloaded and see how we get on. So, right, guys, we are straight into the inspection. And what I'm going to do is talk you through exactly what's happening. So, on screen now, as you can see, I'm catching one of the tops or rams, whatever you want to call them. Just nutmeg me, but yeah. So, basically, what I have to do, I have to hold each top individually whilst the inspector goes through them. This one has actually just been inspected and I missed recording it so they get a green tag if they pass the inspection so 
Now what we're going to do is move on to the next one, if I can decide which one we're going to pick. Yep, so I've picked the next up here, and the inspector will soon walk over to have a look. So I just push him into the corner so it's easy for him to check. So, now what he's doing is checking that the nose is completely black and that his bite is right in his mouth. So that's really important with a ram because you don't want to be putting a poor mouth into your ears because obviously it breeds through your whole flock then. And you need really good teeth so that they've got good longevity so the ewes live longer. I do remember from this, this was the wild one. So what he's doing now is going to the back end. So he's going to check that his testicles are all okay. As well as that, he's going to check his legs to make sure that they're purely white hair. And this is where on this top, unfortunately, we had a little bit of a problem. So with the clean breed, um, they're very strict. As you can see, we do inspections like a lot of breeds don't even do inspections and they have to be clean white sheep because in the past about 20 years ago the breed um, had to be crossed quite a lot just because there was so little um, genetics in the breed there was very few head of clean in the country in fact so they were letting other breeds come into the clean just to populate it and then they shut it down quite quickly after that I think it was only a one or two year period but the genetics are still coming through so on this top there was literally a couple of little brown hairs on its back leg i missed it because it was literally that small but as you can expect the inspector is very strict so he also looks at how they walk and stuff but now he's showing me um i don't know if we can zoom into it on camera but there's a tiny little patch of brown hair on his leg which is really not ideal um at the end of the day i've only been doing this um, about five years and it's only the third inspection i've been to um, and I'm learning every year so this kind of stuff I learn from and we'll come back next year and have to just be a bit strict when it comes to bringing the tups for inspection but yeah um, we'll skip to the next tup now because we're just looking at the hair his, his testicles are alright so this tup now he'll basically be a, a commercial tup um, he'll probably go to Leap Market is actually that tup is my highest performing ram so I think that is actually the top 1% of clean tups so really high performance top unfortunately it's just not going to be pedigree guys so as you can see there's two through the gate and there's actually now we're on to the next one so as we've seen before i know the picture's not great because granddad's filming from a distance as of covid as you can see we've all got masks on and everything because we have to be stripped of the guidelines so now what they're doing is reading the ear tag because its nose and mouth is all okay it's now checking testicles legs what they did um, before all this guys, they walked them all around, we just missed that a little bit to make sure that their feet are all kept okay and their pastons, so we spoke about that when I was doing the ram inspection. But yeah, so he's just been tagged, he passed, so that's really good for us, really happy with that. And then we are on to the final top. So same again, same, looking at the nose, looking at the mouth. Um, if I can, I'll put some photos on screen just to show examples of what it should look like. Looking at the legs again there guys, so he's clean white, no problem with that. Um, his testicles are all okay. Um, just checking all its heads okay. And it's passed, so that's really good. And they're just getting the tagger now to tag him. And as you can see in there, they've passed, so it wasn't too bad guys. Um, what I'm going to do, I know I filmed a little bit later on, so I'm going to talk about how the inspection went in a hole um, once we finish this little clip. But yeah, he's passed, so as you can see, I have some really nice smart tops. Quite um, jumpy, that one, but yeah, the other tops are through there. So I just taught you through three of the tops there, guys. Obviously, we took five, but we were concentrating on getting the first lot sorted, so missed out on the inspections for the other three, but is now having a chat with me, just explaining some stuff, and I'm learning, guys, so <laughs> I'm like a sponge. And he's explaining why he failed and why they passed because every time you go you learn something new so basically now the tops going back on the trailer and we're gonna head back home see if you can see there five even tops i know that isn't the proper thing about the video but we have five even tops going straight back onto the trailer now um, a decent inspection all around the one that failed with brown on its legs but overall on that quite happy right now they go on to trailer and I'll catch back up with you when we are back at home. Sure. 
Right guys, so in fact, it's the day after now. We are back, the tops got home safe, so they're all up there, and the inspection went all right. So three out of five of the tops passed, which is okay. Would have preferred four or five, but there was one on my behalf was a fail because the ones with brown hair, as you saw in the clip just, and there was actually one with a black spot on its foot. I didn't even realize this was a roll, but it was slightly too big and it's a birthmark. Can't do much about that because I didn't know about it. If I knew, I won't have sent it, but yeah reasonably happy it went all right the show top he passed so really happy with that and the other two so we've got three pedigree tops for sale this year we've also got about eight commercial tops now and one of them is in fact the highest um, performance index top on the farm that i've bred so he's actually in the top one percent of all the clean tops if you go on his figures so he's a really really good commercial top if anyone's interested in him um but yeah they're all up there top all settled in nicely and looking well. I've done this yesterday, but we went on to Haylage Car and like I said, we're nearly up to about 3,000 bales now, so cracking on really well on the farm. Um, really busy days ahead with the rest of the Haylage and then we're on to the hay. But yeah, that's us done for today, guys. Inspection done, pretty happy. Could have gone better, but it is what it is and we will carry on going. So next thing is for the sheep, they've got a couple of weeks rest. The, the ewes and top lambs, they need to have their muscle and fat depth taken, so that's to come. Um, it's a fairly quiet period now for the sheep guys, so with a bit more tractory videos, and if there is any sheep stuff, I'll keep you updated. But yeah, thank you for watching today guys. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys, I'll see you later.